Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, welcome to a new video. Um, currently on break right now, so got some time. Uh, coincidentally, this month is the Z Moves up suspect. Well, I'm not sure if it's a suspect or not, but kind of just testing things out. Um, yeah, I'm recording on like a shitty mic, so I don't know if this recording will have like good audio, but. Let's, let's see, um, so yeah, today we're gonna use a, uh, well, we're gonna use Z, Z Chomp. Uh, I was kind of torn between Rakium or, uh, Dragonium, um, but I ended up choosing Rakium. Uh, on Showdown I was using, uh, Dragonium, but it was pretty good. Um, but my, my only concern in PRO, especially for this team, is, uh, freaking Colfable, and... Yeah, you don't see that many Clefables on Jensen and OU. It wasn't as big of a problem. I mean, I guess you do have Feeny and stuff, but... Um, I don't know, it wasn't as big of a problem, but... On PRO, with a lot of CM class running around, I just cannot risk um, running Draconium. And also, I don't... Like, I'll, I want to hit something like Skarmory or something, so... That's why I decided to go for this. But, uh, pretty standard team otherwise. Scarf Blando, Rorum... Carlthorn, uh, Clefable, Pinsir. Um, I've heard that Komo is pretty common, um, and that could be a problem, but, well, not for this team, but a problem in general, um, or something like Manaphy. But so far, I haven't heard anything that's like super problematic. So, uh, well, we'll see. We'll see as we go. Um, see if we can find a, find a battle here. Uh, hopefully, we can find someone. Because we're like zero rated, but yeah. Okay, we got another one. This time's a, a rain team. Uh, yeah. So Azu's gonna start showing up on rain team because of uh, Belly Drum. If you're not running Manaphy, Belly Drum Azu makes a lot of sense. Um, so that is definitely a concern. But Rotom should lift one, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we just need to position around uh, the other mods correctly. I'm just gonna lead uh, this thing. Um, and, uh, we'll see. So, here for sure he's probably gonna go into something like Pyrothorn, and that's gonna be annoying, so I'm just gonna Wisp. Wisp also covers the play if he goes Swampert, um, and weakens it significantly. Uh, I'm not too worried about my rank matchup, because I do have both Pyrothorn and Rudum. Yeah, he goes Swampert, uh, so we do cover that play. Uh, and I, I, I think that was a, a pretty stupid play on his part. Uh, you don't go. You don't get much by going Swampert. Like Swampert cannot out damage Hero Room and Rain. So I'm just gonna go Farothorn and put down some spikes here. I want to keep Hero Room as healthy as possible to check uh, Belly Drum Azu. Um, yeah. So that yeah. So we're chipping that Swampert um, pretty well here, and we're just gonna throw down a layer of spikes. Um, just, uh, yeah. Oh shit, I forgot. We don't have spikes on this thing yet. Um, it's kind of awkward actually. Uh, but I'm gonna switch switch out into uh, Clefton. Or we can switch back to Rotom. Either one works. Um, let's, let's go to Clef, I guess. And I'm gonna get spikes after this, but... Alright, skills for superpower. Um, Clef takes that pretty well too. Uh, not really too worried about anything. We are Ice Beam and Flamethrower on this Clef set. Uh, simply because I want Flamethrower to hit Scissors, or else this is kind of not a great matchup. And uh, Ice Beam is just for, you know, CMing against other Clefs, winning like the CM war. Alright, um, right here, I don't know what he's going to go for, but I feel like he shouldn't go Kingdra. Thorn should be his play, so we're just going to go into Garchomp and pull up rocks. Uh, just applying Chip to his team. Um, yeah, so that's really stupid of me to not have spikes on this thing yet, but it'll be fixed soon. Alright, that's for lead seed. Not too big of a deal. Um if this thing has spikes it, it is a bit annoying though. But I'm just gonna I'm just we're just gonna SD here. Um I'm trying to break past this thing. Uh he does he goes for a power whip. That actually does a pretty decent damage. Considering I guess considering my Garchomp, uh it's not Ivy is not terrible, but whatever. Let's just get some chip on this thing. Um, 
because this thing is pretty annoying. And now this thing's also in uh, pincer, pincer range. So that's good. All right. And now we're just gonna burn our Z here. Um, Z crush here in case he does switch and he does into Tornadus. So we pick up a, a pretty nice KO here. I'm not sure how many turns of rain this is already, but hopefully it's out by now. That's a nice animation, honestly. Or no fucking rock crushing the Tornadus, so maybe not as nice as the black, but it's fine. Alright. So he can go Azu, right, and just Aqua Jet here. Um I'm I will not let him pick up Garchomp, because uh, cause I feel like, like I'll, I don't need to, um, might as well just keep my stack. Because Aqua just probably, pretty much his only play here, if he goes for anything else he's uh, pretty greedy. But, I just Volt Switch here. Um, goes for Thorn, makes sense. Uh, we can either get our Mega off, which is not a bad idea actually. But, yeah, getting our Mega off is not a bad idea. Not terrible. Um, or we can start commanding with Clefable. I think let's just start commanding with Clefable. Uh, even though Azu is kind of kind of a problem. But, well, it's not a problem, but... Um, commands, right? Because we can't hit Azu with this thing. That's, uh, I guess that's the problem. But. All right. But we won't guarantee some KOs, though. Which is really nice. Okay, he won't come out. Uh, Flame bird kill this thing. All right, and then he should probably go something like uh, what's that called? Helper. Uh, to which we are just gonna ice beam and get some damage on this thing. Wait, and maybe he's even faster. Yeah, goes for U-turn. He should not go awesome here. At least I don't think he should. Um, but he does, which is. Fine, um, but we can't really hurt this thing, so we need to be careful here. I hope I do live a rain boosted aqua jet, so uh, fucking okay. right, it's like about the same, but um, it's uh, plus six in the rain. Aqua jet shouldn't kill me. All right, we got the freeze, which is really nice, but we're just gonna go hard roll him. Um, I mean, even if he. Even if he like thaws here, and uh, and you know gets belly drum off, he shouldn't be able to uh, oko me based on the calc. But after like more rocks damage, maybe he will. But that's fine. All right. Okay, so. Goes into this thing. I think we can go into a uh, Feral Thorn here. Um, actually, we could just. There's more plays. We can sack our jump here. And let's go like Pencer and SD or something. Yeah, let's make that play. Uh, just just for fun. Because uh, shouldn't really do much to me. Let's see. I probably should have sacked uh, sacked or uh, sorry Lando. If I sack Lando, get the Intim off, Pencil probably just wins here on the spot. Alright, um... Let's just Mega SD. We will probably do big damage on two. I don't think we kill Kingdra, but... Ice Punch, hopefully it doesn't freeze. Yeah, it doesn't do jack shit. We could be greedy and just go for game here. Do we want to be greedy? 75, yeah, let's be greedy here. Cause like even even if um, it kills here, I don't think I'll lose because of this. Yeah, alright. Should be game. Um let's quick attack here. Bro, I love Mega Pencer, honestly. Okay, I, I used to think Mega Pencer is shit because of uh, the super Weak rock weakness. I'm usually not a big fan of that, but after using this thing, just hits so hard. It's, in, it's uh, not even funny. Yeah. All right, we can just quick attack here. Uh, 
uh, doesn't even get a chance to belly jump up. Quick attack might even just kill this thing. Let's, like, let's try to go for that. Alright, so a nice pincer sweep setup. And uh, now we're gonna try and get our spikes on uh, Feral Thorn. Alright, so we got some oils. Uh, Regis... the Lex. Regis... Regis side Lex, I guess. I was pronouncing it weirdly, but... <clears throat> okay, once again, Rhythm's a really good lead here. If he's some weird, uh... Z Lando, we get to just whisp it first turn. So I'm not too worried about it. Um... Like, I don't know what else he can be Z. Maybe Clef? I feel like that's, uh, That's pretty... pretty dumb... dumb thing. Okay, anyways, we'll switch out here, um, I honestly don't know which one to go to, um, we can go to Arclaf, I guess, and just see what happens, um, let's go for Combine here, uh, this is gonna be a bit bothersome, uh, we, and we can't even freeze it, so, <clears throat> yeah, so this is a problem, he goes for T-Wave, uh, do not like that, yeah, uh, yeah, th this thing's- this thing's a problem for our team, I think. Alright. Let's see if he, uh... Huh, I don't really know what to do here. Maybe I shouldn't have... <laughs> this is- this is not good. This is not good. Um... You only hope for the best, but... Okay, okay, here's the thing. We can probably come out of this, like, we can probably get out of this if we, uh... Okay, hopefully he doesn't Moon Blast here. We're gonna go hard Garchomp. Um, and just hope he doesn't Moon Blast. Uh, if he Moon Blast, we're fucked. All right, we're fucked. Um, yeah, so this is a uh, this is not good. But let's just go go to uh, Landorus, and hopefully maybe Pinsir will pick up the KO. I think as long as if Pinsir is alive and Rotom Watch is alive, we we still have a decent chance of this one. All right, that's a solid fifty percent. Hopefully this just Oko's me. Nice. And now Pinsir comes in, hopefully this just kills uh, kills him, right? If this doesn't kill him, we just pretty much lose on the spot, so uh, it better I'm talking, it better kill him. Alright, uh, apparently it didn't, so uh, that's not good. Can we still win though? Uh, kind of back against the wall here. I guess maybe? Um, if we can somehow set, set up the clef. But, yeah, it's not looking great. And that, that is not dead. You're telling me, oh, bro, nah. <laughs> that's bullshit. Alright, so, uh, yeah, that's why I say, that's why I meant by, in the beginning, that CM Clef is a, is a big problem for this team. Um, yeah. No comment. Okay, so, we found all the same guy, but with a different team. Um... Considering that there's like no one playing right now, I'm just gonna record this. Um, okay, he's still- wait, is this the same team? I don't fucking know. You know what? This will just be a revenge match. We're just gonna lead Runum again. Um, but I think- I think he didn't have a Surf last time, right? I don't fucking know. We're just, you know what? You're cool. He's an asshole, honestly. Okay. That's fine. Um, Regardless, Vulture's still the play. Honestly, uh, we can just Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump's fine. Hydro Pump, it, like, doesn't get me much. But at least we, we're not put in an awkward situation again. But Rox is honestly really ass. Um, yeah, Rox is really bad. That's, uh, that's all I got to say. But, okay, at least we, we can Thunder Wave this time, which is, which is the good part. Goes for Calm Mind, but uh, this is not going to be the same as last time. Calm Minds again, that's fine. T Waves, uh, okay, good. Um, problem is, like, what are we going to do now? Uh, like, we, we paralyze this shit? Sure, great. Let's just go for a Power Whip um, and see what happens. Okay, so he's, like, forced to recover here or something. Right, uh, Who's like our most useless me member on the team? Uh, it's like fucking 
You know what, this is pretty useless. So let's just go to this thing. And we're just gonna... Oh, it's, it's not that bad, but... It's, it's useless compared to other things. Okay, it goes for Boil. That's a lot of health. We're, we're gonna Z this thing. Hopefully he doesn't just, like, recover or something. Because that would be annoying. I mean, even if he does, I think it's still fine, but we're just gonna Z this thing. Alright, he's fully paralyzed, which is fantastic. Uh, right here, SD is always the play, um, because if he if he gets paralyzed, we, we, we kill him here, right? Why would you calm mine? That's fucking dumb. Saw Boy is always his play, but don't know why he did that. So we pick up that successfully, which is really nice. Um, but now... I think the rest are not that hard to deal with. Alright, so goes to this thing, um... We're just gonna sit and take the Leaf Storm and go for a, uh, a, a, a Stone Edge here, hopefully hitting this thing. And I think this might kill. Uh, no, it doesn't, but it's uh, still fine. We can just sack this thing. It's, this thing's not really necessary. And uh, just go Liners. And just keep turn out. Into, I think into our Rotom. Um, because, yeah, Rhythm's really good against him right now. I think, I think his Landorus is Z. Yeah, his Landorus is probably the Z move user. Kills Keldeo. Um, we don't want to get killed by a Focus Buzz right here, so we're just gonna go Clef. And, uh, if per- if- ooh, this is not good, this is not good, um, because we don't have Moonblast. That's the big problem here, um... Alright, so, uh, we kind of just fuck ourselves here. Pretty badly. Maybe I do want Moonblast on this thing instead of Ice Speed. Yeah, maybe, actually. Let's get Moonblast on this thing, because now we have Ferrothorn for Thunder Wave, maybe it's not as bad. But, uh, we're kind of forced to go back to Rotom here. Hopefully, he subs on us, or something. Subbing is probably the best case scenario for me. Um, or commanding is also fine. But hopefully he subs here, though. If he subs here, and we break the sub, that's gonna be really nice. But, okay, he goes for a Secret Sword. We do live, um, with plus two. Uh, not great, but... Alright. Yeah, okay, so this... You know what, this guy just has, like... The counter team to, to my team. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's all there is to it. Okay, all right, let's just go for earthquake here. Hopefully, this will yeah, this does enough damage. And he's Z Caldeo, which is kind of weird. Goes for Hydro Vortex. Um, that's fine. We can just go Pinsir now and so, pick this up with Quick Attack. Okay, so <clears throat> this does put us in a very bad position. So. Because Scissor, yeah, Scissor is a big ass problem. Uh, yeah, Scissor's a real, real big problem here. And he's probably Mega too. <laughs> and that's not great. Even Halancha could be a bit problematic. But Scissor's the bigger problem here. We do pick up the Kelio here. Um, just good. So like, well, not great, but. Alright, Halonta comes in, uh, it's probably just gonna be Acrobatics, right? I think Quick Attack's always the play, though. Actually, I don't know, maybe I should've ran my Calx. Cause, cause now he gets the Scissors Sir Fairy and his Acro is boosted. Wait, 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 wait. He's gonna Acro here, right? He's gonna for sure Acro. Don't tell me he has, like, fucking Roots or something. That's gonna be, like, the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Don't have Roots. Even Dream Punch is pretty... Very, uh, bad. I don't like Drink Punch. Acros, nice. So take, take some chip. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna Spikes. Hopefully he doesn't have Drain Punch. Ooh, I don't like that. Hopefully he doesn't have Drain Punch. Uh, we can, I think my only play is to just hope. And maybe I should have Power Whip. Yeah, Power Whip was always a play, because I'm glad he SC again, because even if he does have Drain Punch, um, it's not as big of a problem for me, because I can just go Pinsir and uh, Quick Attack afterwards. 
Okay, HJK is just we just trade. Um, this is the best case, I think. And now we go Clef, because Clef burns him with the uh, flank door and ice beam. But I probably should just switch that to back to Moon Blast. Ice beam wasn't. Yeah, ice beam wasn't great. All right, so we just flank door here. Uh, he's probably gonna SD. Um, but if I can flank door, like if I can put him in range of uh, what's that called? If I can put him in range of quick attack or something, or just kill him straight out, that's just fantastic. Right. And now we can just like ice beam on the way. But we're gonna switch this to mobile blast afterwards because uh, this puff is pretty ass. Okay. And that should be game. So this was too close to my liking. Um, the setup are really big problems for this team. Like, this team does very well against uh, non-setup mons, but anything like Clefable and Radium Plus are, are like the biggest problems here. So we're just gonna go fucking get ourselves a uh, the move boss. Okay. <clears throat> so we're back. Um, the problem is I don't have the pre-evolution egg move shit unlocked. So uh, we cannot get our Clefable Moonblast, which kind of sucks. Um, I'm kind of annoyed, and I don't really want to do it now. So uh, our club is stuck with Ice Beam for the moment. And uh, yeah, that's uh, fantastic. And, um, let's hope, let's hope for the best, I guess, with this team. All right, okay, this is a pretty, pretty, this one looks pretty fun. Um, Ninetales probably the lead, right? Honestly, we're just gonna pile up spikes if the sets fail. I think I think that's that's our play. Mega Metagross is a huge problem, especially if he's like rock polish. And like honestly, rock polish hammer on doesn't make sense, so maybe it's not as big of a threat as I thought. This is this is pretty interesting. Um a bunch of mines that don't make sense together are together. Um that's how I would describe the team. Hopefully he switches out, uh, afraid of like uh, the bigger concern would be uh, hypnosis, at least for me. Um, yeah, okay. Get one spikes off. Uh, he's probably gonna go into something like Zapdos here, and that's annoying. I'm just gonna see. Goes for an HP fire. I disagree with that play completely, and that's a crit too. But okay, the reason why I disagree with this app play is because if I do on off chance have Jarrowball. This Ninetales is dead, and uh, he can never put up Veil again. So that is just a completely... Just just a bad play on his part. Like, like there's no harm just going Zapdos in there. Um, so I, I, I do not understand why he doesn't go for that. Um, but it is, it is what it is, I guess. Um, so what's our win con here? Uh, well, we... Uh, this is not fantastic, because Rotorn is shipped down, um, I'm a bit worried about Metagross, but it shouldn't be a problem, given that we have both Rotorn and Thanorus. Um, we need to somehow deal with the Zapdos, so the Pinsir can uh, actually start doing damage. Um, if we can somehow kill Zapdos, then Pinsir is of course like just fantastic here, but um, yeah. We just Volt Switch here. We'll switch out into, in my opinion, maybe, maybe Furth or maybe Garchomp. Uh, okay, that's AV for sure. Uh, I think Garchomp is fine. Um, I'm bigger, I'm concerned about HP Ice a bit. Um, but either way, it shouldn't kill. Um, I'm just gonna rocks. He sh he's saying it means he probably has HP Ice. I'm a bit worried about that, but okay, it doesn't kill, which is good. Uh, we're gonna go into uh, Pinsir here. Uh, it covers both knockoff and uh, and yeah, and HP Ice. So this is fine. We're just gonna go back into Garchomp because he's probably gonna go into Zapdos, expecting uh, yeah. Zapdos comes in, which is as I expect. 
and we're just gonna burn our Z here. Uh, I don't really care if he switches out into anything else. I think Gliscor makes a lot of sense for him, but we're just gonna see. Um, yeah, okay, he switches out, which is a good play on his part. But this should still do a pretty pretty decent amount of damage. And we also chip down the Zapdos because next time he comes in, he's at 50. So if we can get a SD off, plus he doesn't, like, if we can get the SD off against him, um, that's really good. Because if we don't get paralyzed, our pincer is in the prime position to just sweep. Ooh, he does go for Defog though, which is, uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, I'm just going to go for a Wall Switch here. Hopefully... He I don't know. Hopefully he goes into something. Yeah, tank growth is fine. Actually, yeah, we go tank. We go this thing. I, I think. I think I got the plan down. Um, we go this thing. Rocks on the sack, and then go pincer SD against this thing. Hopefully he goes Zapdos. If he goes uh, Metagross, then well, that's shit. But uh, yeah, we just we just SD here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't. Well, maybe me stays in and just HP guys. Hopefully he does that, because we're not going to Mega. We're just going to SD here. Good. Okay, Zapdo should, should be gone now. Uh, yeah, he should not be able to take this uh, return. And uh, that's a threat down, for sure. But the bigger threat is still at Metagross. Uh, I guess that's what I'm mainly worried about. And hopefully you don't get paralyzed. That would be, uh, fantastic. Alright, nice. It's only plays a Metagross here. I don't think he got any other plays. And, uh, on Metagross we're just gonna sack, uh, Pearl Thorn, pretty much. And then go, like, Landris and U-Turn. As he goes Gliscor, we're gonna go back into Pincer and Clip Repair. I think that's a, that's a sequence. Because I don't think Gliscor can really touch Pincer. Alright, Minergos does come in, um, as we expect. So we just need to chip down this thing. Frothorn shouldn't even be at this though. He got both the bad play and the trip helping him. So yeah, which I which is really stupid, but that's fine. All right, um, not as much help as I wanted, but uh, I, I guess I take that. And, uh, I don't know if he'll stay in. Staying in is such a bad play. So hopefully he doesn't... Yeah, okay, fuck you. It's just such a bad play, but... It doesn't really matter. We do have Rotom, so that's why it's, it's fine. But regardless... It, like, it just doesn't make sense. And we're just gonna Volt Switch here. Uh, if he goes close score, he's once again proof himself that he's a bad player. Like, why? Why would you... Like, why would you risk Gliscor on this such such a non... Like, such a high-risk situation? Like, that doesn't- that just doesn't make sense. Alright, I think I'm just gonna double- double Volt Switch here. And I'm faster, which is good info. And he defogs, which is, uh, fine, I guess. And he should- he should definitely switch here, because he can't even play the Roost game. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, um, Pinsir comes in. We do get some very nice health back on the on the Rotom though, so we're just gonna return, uh, pick up this thing. So now Rotom is a Rotom itself is a big threat. Um, yeah, so that's really good. Uh, but Minerals is a big threat for him for me. Yeah. Nine Tails comes in. I'm surprised he doesn't go Minerals. I would definitely have gone Minerals, uh, but I guess that's it is what it is. Goes for Veil. Um, to be that's to be expected. But we're just gonna flame tower here. Um, maybe he goes. Okay, he goes close court, which is interesting. Um, is he SD then? Maybe he is SD. Uh, 
I'm just hit him with an ice beam here. I'm kind of. I don't really like that. You turn into Caldeo. Okay, nice. Um, the worst case would be if this is CM again, because I cannot hit him with the Moon Blast. Yep, this is for sure CM. Just awful. Plain awful. Um. All right. That's uh, not great. So he make, keeps making bad plays, but still positions himself into a decent spot. Um, okay, Skull, Skull's not the play. If you're CM, you start setting up right there. You gotta fucking fail on your side. I, like, what are you worried about? Alright, we both switch out here. Um, like, what does he go to? This thing. Like, what? Why would you make that play? Okay, I guess with Veil up, it's not as big of a thing, but I still think that's really stupid. Let's go for Pump. Um, goes for U-Turn. Uh, fantastic. Just had to miss right there. Um, Alright. It's just great. Uh, he probably has Freeze Ride, so we need to be careful here. Um, he kind of forced to go into Clef. Uh, just nice. Yep, goes for Freeze right here. And we're just gonna go for a hard flame power. Um, just new. Yeah, this is just bad overall. And now I think I don't think my okay. This is really nice. We we needed that. Um, our uh, our Kelio, sorry, our Rotom cannot take any more uh, skulls really. So right here, we're just gonna calm mine. Um, so he goes back into nine tails. I'm hoping that Veil stays up, because then his Kelio cannot really stop up. Uh, we're just gonna mind again, but... So... Metagross is still a big threat, but he cannot go hard into it, which is, uh, which is a good thing. Um, now we're just gonna flank our start doing some, some damage here. <sighs> nice, Kelio comes back in. Um, if he's CM, then it's really bothersome. Yeah, that didn't do jack shit. Fine. That's fine. Cause if he if he subs, he's just not gonna do be doing any damage. Right. That's a thing. He goes for scald, um, they're just gonna keep playing the ring. Right. Chip like fighting ten like two damage per turn. Holy shit. Like Okay, he's not CM for some reason, and he's running leftovers. Uh, this doesn't make sense. You know what? Today, today just doesn't make sense. Huh. Yeah. Alright. I mean, he can, like, Icy Wind all, all he wants, but, like, it's not gonna... I'm not gonna fucking click anything else. Alright, that's, that's some damage right there. Oh, that's a nice crit. Okay. We're just gonna... I think I'm just gonna Ice Beam here, because he should Roost, yeah, that makes sense, at least. Uh, ice Beam should do decent damage. Alright, when we need to stall until, like, Veil is gone, I guess. Um, when Veil is gone, this is good. Okay, he Roost again, I am kind of fine with this. Alright. Spent on again. He's gonna U-turn. Like he can do anything, anything's fine. Honestly, right here. We just we need we just need damage on something. Fails comes out. Well, not comes out, but he's gonna set fail again here. Right. And we're just gonna calm mine because it gets us more damage if he goes eventually goes better girls. Um, that's uh, that's what we want. All right. Let's see. Goes better girls. I mean, Flamethrower is always coming out here. I don't know what he's thinking. So uh, that's some really that's some really nice damage. And Veil, nice. Um, all right, here we're for sure just gonna go. We're gonna keep this, I think. Honestly, this thing's not all that important, but we're just gonna keep it. I guess it's good for Nine Tails. Um, and we have a switch into this thing anyways, so uh, might as well just. Use that. We we'll just, uh, okay. Actually, we could defog, but maybe not. Just you turn out. Alright, 
Um, got some options here. I think this is probably the best because uh, you can just SD here. Maybe nine tails could be a bit annoying, but it should die to a plus two SD, right? And his only way of touching me is like you turning. I think Calvio also drops. Mendergos definitely drops because he's uh, at like one health. Yeah, nine tails. I hope this drops. Honestly, I probably shouldn't. Whatever, it's fine. I got I got CM caught for that stupid ass close corner anyways. This drops, it's that's great. Nice. Okay, then this is game then, I think. Because even if he has bail up, it doesn't really matter. Is there like a bail animation or something? Like, oh I have bail up. No. Okay, well that sucks. Alright. Commando971. Finally someone high rated. This guy's team is... I don't think he changed his team. Maybe this is Z he trend, but I can't see anything else being Z. People need to stop pulling out like Z Kalios. Oh, maybe Z matters, but... Honestly, fucking... It just makes so much sense for you to, uh, to run... Like, Scarf on this team. He's probably jolly, maybe that's why he stayed in. Yeah. I don't know why he stayed in, but we, we take those. Um, Alright. Uh, Chomp comes in. Uh, probably Kelio for him. I would go Kelio if I, like if I were him. Puts me in the awkward spot. No, he goes Landris. Which is fine. Um, I guess we can just trade rocks. Uh, yeah. Just trade rocks. Like, he's probably gonna rock me too. Rock tombs me. Alright, that's, that's fine. Um, let's SD here. He, he rocks, okay, that's fine. Ooh, the Zapdos is a bit annoying, but it should be okay, because after this is gone, Earthquakes, okay, that's fine. Is he, is he, um, what's that called? I don't, like, I don't know what he is, I can't really tell. Maybe he's Sash? No, he's not Sash. Okay, we're, we're going to uh, go to Landers here. Uh, Landers is good because not only do, do we get to preserve the Garchomp, we also, I think we threatened to knock him out with the, uh, with the Soul Edge. So, that's good. Um, I can't really switch into anything. I am just a bit worried about the Calvio, but as long as if he is in Combine, I think I'm fine. Okay, he U-turns out, that's fine with me. So he's what? Rock Tomb, Earthquake, Rocks, u turn I guess that's not all that weird, but I still think it's very weird. Um, right. We just U-turn here. Um, he can fake out all he wants. I'm really worried about that. He turns a bit annoying too. He turns really annoying. Holy shit, why does that fake out you so fucking much? I think that makes sense. Oh, he's probably Helmet then. But Scarf, as I said, Scarf Landorus just makes so much sense here. Like... Yeah, it doesn't make sense for him to be Helmet. Alright. That's fine. Um... So, Landorus is pretty chipped. It's not fantastic, but... This is fine. I'm just gonna Spikes here. It goes for Earthquake. Um, okay with me, I think. I'm just gonna go back into Landorus. Landorus. After that. Uh, he's probably gonna just Earthquake again. Cause I, I, I can come in again after a, um, what's it called? Yeah, after another Rocks. So that's good. And I'm just gonna um, edge here. Hopefully he goes into something like Zapdos. That would be fantastic. But I guess not. That's fine, we, we pick up our KO, we got one spikes down. So switching should be much more difficult for him now. Um, but, uh, really appreciate that. I do need to keep uh, Rotom healthy for the Heatran. Especially if he's the Heatran, that just puts much more burden on me. Uh, Zapdos is also a big threat, so we need to uh, be careful with that. I, I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on the uh, on the Rotom, and uh, that's not definitely not a good thing. 
And if Zabdos comes in, I'm honestly tempted to just hit it. He goes Kalio, which is, uh, which is the right play, I guess. Um, and uh, if I were him, I'd definitely scald here. Like, unless I'm... Uh, well, yeah, I would definitely scald here. I don't really need this, because this thing gets beaten by Zapdos, Hopani, Kalio, and Heatran. Like, all of his remaining mines. And I get to see what he goes to. And I think that's the, uh, that's the important part. Goes for Secret Sword, it's a nice play on his part, um, but we do get to go to uh, Rurum, and uh, Rurum gets to Volt Switch here, which is uh, really good. I think. Uh, yeah, it's not not great, because he, he should just stay in here, get Chep, and hopefully hope for a Heatran endgame or something, but he goes into Zapdos, and I do not agree with this play, because... He's, well, he's chipping down in Zapdos, right? And that just opens up more pin more problems for uh, Pinsir later on. Uh, yeah. And if I were him, I'd definitely just, like, I don't know. I'm just gonna edge here, for sure. Let's see how much we can do. Okay, it doesn't kill, but it's uh, good damage. This is toxic. Um, unfortunate for him, but if I, like... It doesn't matter if I, well, if I hit the second edge, is what I'm saying. Like, Toxic was not probably not the play there. Like, I'm just gonna keep edging, I, I think. Yeah. I just need to hit two in a row. Like, if he Toxic's here, like, fine. Like, fine with me. Um, but if I just hit this one, or if he switch, like, if he switches, he can't defog, so, like, it doesn't really matter. Okay. We might want to keep this just for the Heatran, because if we can somehow, like, if we sack something and get this in on a Heatran, we just guarantee pick up a KO. So this is, uh, somewhat important, I guess. But Lopany should come in, but Lopany should not be able to break through Clef. Um, my estimates are correct. But he does seem like an adamant. And like, now, like, now that he sacks, like, look, if I, if he sacked uh, Kelly instead, like, Kelly might even live, that's the thing, and I'm forced to go into Pinsir, right? So like, if I, if he sacked Kelly instead, that would be much better, like, he would be in a much better position right now. Like, Heatran, whatever, um, we might want to, like, I think Rotom's, Rotom's the, the sack, right? Cause, cause, Lando can have like a late game sweep. So I think, I think we definitely sack Rotom here. I'm pretty sure this is the Heatran. So like, even if we uh, do get killed here, it doesn't really matter that much because we just go our time to pick up something. Flash cannons, fine. Um, maybe this is like Boom Doom or something. I'm just gonna pump. And we're faster anyways, so like, I don't know, maybe he's modest? No, he's like, calm. He's calm as hell. Um, maybe he's like, max HP special, like, I don't know. Maybe he's max HP special attack. Given the damage roll, it kind of makes sense for him to be that, but... Alright, this is fine. Uh, Rudum's still decently healthy. Lopany comes back in. Um, well, not worried about this thing. I think we sack Garchomp here. And just go pincer afterwards and quick attack. Pretty much went on the spot. Okay, so uh, just quick attack here, and should pick up the last two KOs, because Kelio isn't really that high. I think Kelio needs to be at like 70% to, to, uh, to, to live it, right? Uh, I'm not exactly sure, but maybe, let's see. 
So this is at around like 65-ish. And so uh, I don't think this lives. If my uh, Pokemon knowledge is, is correct. Yeah. Goes back to his Pokeball. Um, we just say, and Pinsir takes like, like a, I think a good IV one takes like less than 25 from um, from a fake out, like from a Charlie Lopardy. So, see how much this does. Yeah, like around 25 percent. He does have quick attack. Um, that's a good thing to take note of. But it's really nice. We won this game pretty pretty easily. Um, yeah, it doesn't make sense for him to sack Gordon turn one. Okay, la last game, Gordon Pikachu with a Pikachu. Honestly, mad respect for uh, using. Honestly, mad respect for using Gren and uh, Pikachu. But uh, just leave this. All right. We we'll just U-turn out. Um, I don't know what this thing's gonna use. Uh, in PPO, the Pikachu has like fucking flying press and shit. That's, a, that's just so goofy. Anyways, you turn. Uh, okay, so this is uh, Rocks Lando, um, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. We're gonna just trade Rocks here. I think we trade Rocks and then we just hard Z. Goes Greninja. Um, interesting. I'm a bit worried about what this thing is running. I think we're gonna. I think Ferrothorn is really obvious, so I'm just gonna go into. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is not bad. Uh, do I need Clef? Maybe I. I do, but I just. I want to get a hit off. Yeah. Goes for SD here. Um. It's cool. All right. It's good. Um. Okay. He's gonna return here for sure. So, what is the least valuable member on our team right now? Is it this Clef? Is it... Honestly, Clef, Clef is not very valuable. Let's just act this then. Earthquakes... Uh, don't know why he doesn't return, though. Not sure, but I think... Let's count this. I think Landris, like our fucking 10 IV Landris dies... Well, kills a... Uh, they're gonna be with U-turn. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then it's more. Hmm. That's not good. You know what? We're we're going a uh, dark jump. And I'm just gonna earthquake, honestly. If he goes Lottie, he goes Lottie. Like. Yeah. Earthquake's always the play there. Honestly, uh Club Club Fable Dead is not great. And this thing, if this thing has HP fire, holy shit, this is not good. We're switching into Feral Thorn though, for sure. Tricks, alright, Trick is fine. Um, I don't really mind that all that much. And I think I'm just gonna Thunder Wave here. See, Tentacles, okay, that's fine. Because if Tentacle wants to spin, I am like, okay, that's actually really great because if we get the Scarf, um, now our Land Result beats him. And uh, I think that's definitely something like that's definitely really good. Um, he can spend all he wants, but we're just gonna go catch up and put them back up. So, so uh, it's not really too big of a concern. Yeah, he sculpts, uh, which is good play, and we got burnt, which is not good at all. Uh, and we're just gonna sort of here because he could just spend here, given that we. Uh, even that we are now burnt. That's not good. But and I'm gonna just burn my Z, because I could see him going hard Latios on my uh on my like on my rocks, and that could put me in a very awkward spot. Goes Landris, so, so like Landris is fine because we can always just rocks on this afterwards. Um so I'm not worried about this all that much. Yep. Yeah, the burn's really, really unlucky here. It, it is what it is. I mean, that's just Pokemon, right? U-turns. Um, okay, that's that's fine. He gets chipped. 
so that's even better. Then Greninja comes in. I think we just hack this thing, right? This thing's not all that good right now. And I get to- I also get to see, like, what move he collects, so... Dark Pulses? Alright. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is Specs or something? But, regardless... This is the play. We just U-turn out here. Let's see, like Ice Beam or something? I don't- I don't know what's going on, but... Oh, okay, so we, we take that out. Um... I think we go- I think we go Pinsir, because we deny him of spinning, and we also deny Landers of sending rocks. So, his- his only play is to go Latios or Pikachu. <laughs> and Pikachu is really goofy, but yeah. Like, he can't intim- like, the intim has no effect on us, because we're Hyper Cutter. What? Fuck, we're Mold Breaker? Mold Breaker my ass. I thought we were Hyper Cutter. Okay, well, now, uh, that's really awkward. But, anyways, uh... Run some calcs time, I guess. I don't want him, like, fucking... Okay, at minus one. I think we still kill, I think we still kill. 35, yeah, we're going for it. Um, we're definitely going for this. If it doesn't work out, it's uh, really bad. So hopefully it does work out. Yes. I don't think... Yeah, okay, nice. Okay, Latios comes in. Um, this thing's a big threat. But I think the play is always just to go to Feraldorn and go for a T-Way. Um, yeah, goes for a side shot here. And, okay, okay. Here's the thing. He should not stay in with this thing. Like that that just made no that just makes no sense. So if I were him, I'd definitely go turn control here. But you know what? Let's see. I think I'm just gonna let. Yeah, just just get some damage on the control. And Peach probably you're just gonna spend here. Um Alright, that's good damage. Um honestly, if that's the case, I'm just gonna whip again. Yeah, that's unfortunate for him, but. I don't think clearing rocks has like much of a much of an effect on the game right now. Yeah, GG's. Okay, so let's see. Let's just record one last one. Uh, it's this Pika Pikachu guy again, but this time with a with a different team. Uh, once again, honestly, Rudolph's pretty decent lead, uh, but I don't want him leading Surf and just fucking me up. So we're gonna lead Garchomp here. Um, yeah, okay. Not fantastic. I am just gonna, I think, Z him right here? Uh, yeah, let's just Z him right here. Ooh, that's not good. I don't, I don't like that. Alright, that's that puts us in a really bad spot. <laughs> Honestly, um, okay. It's not great. Alright, I should have lead, I should have let Landers, honestly. I just didn't want him to leave his Landers. Not my Landers, but let's see. Let's go Landers hard here. I don't know why he switched. He's in such a good position right there. And uh, we just U-turn out scouting his item. If it's a uh, helmet, we'll know. If it's not a helmet, we'll... Yeah, it's helmet, okay. That's good. Um, I think, I think it's probably like... Maybe Z Heatra? Z Heatra makes sense here, honestly. Alright, let's just get our rocks up. He's probably gonna Earthquake to get some chip onto us, which I am fine with. I. Okay, my dilemma here is that I don't really want to go to um, Rudum, because if he U turns into Superior, it puts me in a really, really bad spot. Um. Yeah, so we're not gonna do that. Let's go into... I think Clef is decently safe in the ground. Because even if he does go um, superior or something, like it doesn't put me in that bad of a spot. Let's just go for a combine here. Defog, which is really interesting. Okay, so... He wants these rocks off, which I'm gonna allow him, but... What? I thought he was gonna rocks right here. 
Okay, well that's that's fine too. Um, go scissor. Okay. Do we want? I think I kind of want to just flame dart. If he bullet punches, I need bullet punches. Um, and it won't pick us up because he's mega. I don't think it does. Yeah, knocks me off. It's just fine. It's not great, um, but it's fine. But we do get up, get to uh, just pick pick up this scissor here. So that's even better. Oh. Heat trunk comes in. Um, well, heat trunk coming in ju just means that this is like a prime time to get rocks. Un unless he's corkscrew crash. If he's corkscrew crash, then um, you can't really get rocks here. But... Because he Z would just kill us, but um, this is fine. You know what? I don't know why I didn't buy a hy hyper cutter fucking pincer. This makes no sense. Alright, he's gonna defog here. Um, <clears throat> yep. I'm gonna Wisp. Uh, Wisp stops him from playing any superior games. If he does go superior, he shouldn't stay in here. Staying in here is just stupid. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna Wisp. Nice. Getting that off is big. Um, for sure. Let's go into Lanaros here and threaten, threaten him with the U-turn. Yep, the least one comes out. Hopefully we don't just drop to this, that would be really bad. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna U-turn out. I do still live anything from his Lanaros afterwards, so that's good. Yeah, honestly this is not great. I would want my Lanaros for the Como. I think this is still somewhat fine. I'm just gonna go into this thing again, I think. And uh, we're just gonna hydro pump here. We're faster, which is fantastic. And we get the uh, get get that off. Um, okay, so the superior is the big problem here. Um, I don't know if he's gonna sub or just leaves from here. Regardless, we need Rurum, so this is definitely a nut sack. Um, I, we could just go hard Lanterus here. Well, I don't really like that. Um, let's just sack Garchomp, and if it doesn't work out, if, like if he subs here, right? Okay, this is like best case, but like if he subbed there, uh, I would just well sack Garchomp still and go like Lanterus afterwards. Regardless, right now this is fine. Um, our most useless member on the team is the uh, is, is the Ferrothorn, so we're just gonna U-turn into into Ferrothorn here. And um, yeah, switch us into Heatran. Um, this is okay. I can't really go Pinsir and like I as much as I would like to go Pinsir and just close combat here. I don't think Pinsir kills. So that's the thing. I'm kind of worried about. I guess I should have bolt switched. That's just a, that's just bad plays on my part. All right, um, these thorns for sure coming out here. Let's go into uh, Feral Thorn. Okay, that, yeah, you know this appear is giving me uh, fucking problems. Yeah, this appear is giving me problems. I'm just gonna spikes here. Hopefully this isn't my fucking issue. Alright, okay, that, this is good, this is good. Um, Cause all we need right here, like you can, you can sword sands and shit, like I don't really give a fuck about it, I don't think. Cause as long as if I live like a plus two, like that's fine. You can sub what you want, get your acro whatever shit off. Because pincer at the end is always just gonna bench kick you with the, with the quick attack, so. Not all that big of a deal. I don't really need clef at all. Um, like you can keep subbing, SDing all you want. You can sub to like 2,000%. But this is all I need to deal with this thing. Yeah, get good to receive switchers off. I don't really care. Actually, 
macros. Uh, cool, good for you. And uh, we just go back here. Okay, so like the only worrying thing is on well, the service worrying and the uh, heat trap. Yeah, those two are the big, biggest problem here. Heat trap comes in, um, takes the spikes. We're still gonna go wash. I could see him doubling right here, um, and I don't really like that. But I think I think we are still forced to switch. These, yeah. This is uh, fire, right? Z fire? Z crush? What? What am I fucking seeing? You know what? Bowser's always a play here. I learned my lesson from last time, but he didn't really take advantage of that. Um, regardless, if I volt switch into Pinsir here, it should just be game. Como comes in. Wait, no, what the fuck is this Como? Belly drum? I don't fucking get what's happening here. Like, if this heat turns to Z, then what the fuck is this combo? Dragon Dance, maybe? Yeah. Alright. Heat turn comes in. Uh, and now that we know that he's Z, we can just safely close combat. I was just kind of worried if he's Scarf. And, like, at full health, we don't kill it. This health, I'm pretty sure we do. And uh, we can just quick attack the, uh, the surf, so. Uh, pretty good win. Well, the surf is the biggest problem, on, for, like, against my team. Yeah. It's not easy to deal with, but. GG's, man. Okay, I think that concludes uh, today. So we got some nice matches in, uh, 9 wins, 1 loss, uh, overall. I think I'm gonna skip some matches because, well, they're just, like, pretty boring and stuff. But, uh, yeah, pretty good win rate. I'm pretty proud of this team. I think we might use it once more next time, and maybe I'll come up with something else. But, yeah, I think this seems pretty, pretty fun to use. So uh, I'll put the team link in the description. Uh, just be careful of uh, opposing Kalmai and Clef. Well, set of mods in general, like, well, Superior is technically, like, a boosting setup mod, I'd say. Like, Superior, you know, Combine Club, Combine Reunquist, Combine, uh, Kelio, I would recommend switching Ice Beam on Clefable for a Boom Blast, but I'm not able to do that because, uh, I don't want to do the quest, but, yeah. I think that's it for me, um, that's a good, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully you enjoyed this video and enjoy the season, and, uh, yeah, peace.